Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can change your graphics from high down to low down to blurry and even down to blocky but before we get started I just have to say that only the low graphics are gonna make any sort of performance boost for your computer the blurry and the blocky textures are purely for visual looks it's just a preference thing it's not gonna give you any more FPS Okay, so for this tutorial, I've reverted back to TF2's default settings just so that everyone can easily follow along. Now, the first thing that you want to do is close the game. We need to navigate to our TF folders. The way that we get there is we go to our Steam library, right click on Team Fortress 2, go to Properties, do Installed Files, and then click on Browse. It's going to bring this up. I highly suggest that you pin TF to somewhere like Quick Access or somewhere that you can easily access because you will be repeatedly going here I have no doubt and it'll save you a lot of time now what you should also do is if you have an existing config that you like make a copy of it somewhere so what I would do is I would go into your config find wherever your auto exec is just make a copy of it and then just paste it in TF and we're going to come back to it later and we're going to head over to the master config website this is how you get the low graphics uh, you want to go to app and you can choose whatever you want but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to go to low and you can customize the modules um, we might just keep shadows on low and then in the add-ons you can choose whatever you like I recommend null cancelling movement no tutorial uh, flat mouse all of these things will just like save a bit of FPS or be a little bit of an optimization. Definitely get that. Once you're ready, click download. And it's going to give you a compressed file. And what you want to do is just copy these into your TF folder and press paste. All right, so we have a CFG and a custom. So here you can see there is the low preset. This is how we get the low graphics. So if we remember from before, we got our old auto exec from our old config. To make that compatible with master config, you're just gonna wanna cut it and paste it into CFG overrides and put it in here. I already have one um, because we just downloaded a new one, but that's where it would go. And yeah. All right, and then the final thing that it says is to, these are the launch options. So copy those, go back to Team Fortress 2, click on Properties, General, and you can just put those in there. All right, so we'll launch up the games. It's very loud. Turn that volume down. All right, so now we're going to go into a map. We'll just go Map, PL, Badwater. So now we've loaded into a game. You can see that we have very low graphics. And for the second part of this tutorial, we're going to get the blurry graphics. As far as I know, the only way to get LOD tweaks is with NVIDIA graphics drivers. I do believe that there is an AMD method, but I will only be going over the NVIDIA uh, method today. And the way we do it is with the NVIDIA inspector. And the one that I know how to use comes from an old clown config. I've linked the Google Drive in the description and you want to go ahead and download it. Once it's completed downloading, you'll get a compressed folder. Go ahead and extract that and then open up the LOD tweak folder and then open up NVIDIA Inspector. Because I've already done this, the settings are already going to be complete, but I'll show you how you do it. You click on the settings icon here and we want to go up to profiles and switch it to Team Fortress 2. Like that. Alright, now go into the anti-aliasing section look for transparency super sampling and change it to AA mode replay all. Then go to texture filtering and change the LOD bias value to 15. That's all you have to do, press apply changes. Okay, once that's done, you can close it, open up Steam and launch Team Fortress 2. Once TF2 is launched, open up any map and we'll just make sure that the graphics are working. Once you've loaded into a map, you'll see it won't be working straight away. What you have to do is open up console and type mat underscore mip map textures and set it to one. And there you have it. There are the blurry graphics. Now for the blocky graphics, all you have to type into console is mat underscore filter textures zero. 
The blocky graphics can work with or without LOD tweak. It doesn't matter if you have them enabled. Setting filter textures to zero will give you the same blocky result.